Hi everyone. Welcome to the SAP Business Objects 402 SP4 series. My name is Rahil Khan and I'm working as a senior solution lead in business analytics based out of the SAP Dubai office. In this series, I'd like to highlight three main areas around the SP4 installation and setup. We would also then see the various features around the central management console. And last but not the least, we would see the, bu the beautiful Fiorized BI Launchpad. Now, let's, let, let's look at BI 4.2 SP4 installation and setup. And the so here I have started my, I'm going to go and install BI 4.2 SP4. I have already downloaded the installation files. I'm going to actually run them as an administrator and extract these files. It's a very good, it's a good practice actually to have these files already pre-extracted and kept ready prior to installation. I've just fast forwarded the few steps just to save time. Uh, I wanted to show you that, okay, now we have uh, completely extracted. Once we have extracted these files, we would then go to the setup and run the setup as an administrator and start installation. Uh, the important point here is that the system will check for the prerequisites. If in case any prerequisites are required, uh, like the version uh, or the operating system version or anything is not compatible, it will actually detect and tell you um, if, it's a, if it's a problem and then that's where you need to fix these errors first and then go back and start your installation process again. Uh, let me start and now I'll choose English as the default. I'm going to say next here it's actually shown me all the prerequisites which was required and as you can see uh, every everything has gone through well uh, it also told me that whether this prerequisite status was succeeded or failed in my case it's all okay so then I'm ready to go and start my BI 4.2 SP4 installation click next choose the license agreement I accept click on next I enter the product key uh, should anyone out there would uh, require an evaluation license and would like to tr use this do let us know do get in touch with us and we can help you there as well so here I have to choose my various languages in my case I'm choosing English uh, as the default language I want I say next I have the choice of actually uh, installing a complete full BI platform system or I could individually uh, select uh, uh, different application features and do a custom install uh, or only I could install the web tier features. In my case, I'm choosing full installation. I'm going to say next. Uh, I need to install, uh, define the destination folder. As you see in my, uh, in my machine, I have D drive which I have dedicated actually uh, for business objects. That's where I ch just simply change the drive location. Say next, I need to configure my database. I can either take in a SQL Server, anywhere database provided by default or I could go back there. As you have seen, I have now started my SQL Server. Here I'm actually going to configure both my system DSN as well as my audit repository DSN. I have created two DSNs, each of them pointing to a system repository as well as uh, to my audit database and as you're seeing I'm actually configuring the DSN to point into the respective uh, repositories. These will be used by uh, business objects BI 4.2 uh, to basically write the system information in the system repository and also the user's audit information in the audit database. Uh, here I'm actually I have the choice of using any database as you can see a list of them are uh, uh, various of various databases are listed here. Uh, I'm selecting the Microsoft SQL Server using the ODBC as you have seen I've just configured. Uh, so I can choose this for both my auditing database as well as for my uh, system repository database. Next. Now 
now I will be going and configuring my Java web application server I can again uh, again out here I have the choice of easily uh, either using the Tomcat web application server which I'm initially selecting or any of my web application server uh, I'm going to configure my system uh, server in, uh, intelligence uh, properties uh, choosing my default CMS entering the username I kept the same port the default ports which has been there, uh, provided I also have the option here to provide the cluster key very useful when you have multiple nodes installation that's where you will be using the cluster key uh, go to click through next here I need to configure my username uh, I'm sorry the password which I have configured for both the system as well as the audit database okay I entered the wrong password I need to correct that one yep that's right and now I have my audit repository listed I'm going to keep the same port uh, connection port shutdown ports and the redirect ports the default ones which is already been selected which is 8080 uh, I'm going to keep the listening port as same 606 six, sorry 6405 Uh, here you have actually the choice of uh, uh, configuring uh, uh, your subversion repository information uh, uh, I'm also entering that that's my LCM repository I'm just going to say next uh, if you are an SAP customer and you already have an SAP installation you have the choice of configuring the Interscope Enterprise Manager uh, as well that's where you will need to install the host uh, agent now my business objects uh, is getting installed uh, I'm just fast forwarding the installation steps so that we can see the entire process okay it's nearly completed now in order to complete my installation I do need to carry out some further steps uh, in my central management console basically this is to configure uh, the uh, or I could say I could say the business objects installation uh, in my CMS and this is what I will be actually showing you across in my next uh, video as well so once I have done this I will go back to my uh, system uh, I will create the three shortcuts which have been created by the system I'm just going to copy them on my desktop so that it becomes very handy for me to use and I'll have the three uh, uh, shortcuts available one for my CMC one for my launch pad which will be seeing a little later in the session and again CMC in my next video where I'll be showing you how you would be further configuring the parameters as you can see now uh, I can log in into my server to see if all the services are running and I can see everything is green enabled running so I have had a successful BI 4.2 installation thank you everyone for listening and joining the series. Please feel free to reach out to me on my below contact details through Twitter, LinkedIn and you can even subscribe to my YouTube channel Analytics from Dubai. Looking forward to hearing from you and getting your valuable feedback. Thanks. Bye.